Hi guys, it is a gorgeous spring night here in the end times in Babylon back in Paonia, Colorado here on Monday night, June 8th, 2015, is it? So I have just endured a weekend of, uh, well I'll put a couple of videos on there, good God about my weekend I just had in Pagosa Springs, Colorado freezing my ass. I, I had flash floods. I had goddamn hail storms freezing my fucking ass. Oh God. To go to this picking party down in, uh, down in Pagosa Springs, which finally last night I got to pick about two hours. That is all. Anyway, so I get back home today. Get back goddamn home today after pretty much four days, well, you know, without a computer and Skype and all of that shit. You know, Skype is my only phone. So I get back today because, because I've got all of these, these, these fucking ads on Craigslist looking for rides to California to get my ass out of Peonia, Colorado since my own gas sucking truck broke down after one fucking day on the road. I'm sitting here <coughs> running ads all over the fucking state of Colorado <coughs> looking for a ride to California and the only fucking phone number I have to uh, for contact information is this goddamn Skype number. So I don't know how many of you even remember my fucking rants from three months ago when I was trying to update a fucking debit card number on Skype. To where they do this automatic withdrawal out of your account, you know, uh, quarterly every three months. They take $8.40 out of my fucking bank account. They've been doing this for six fucking years. And I have already two if not three times gone through this with Skype. Updating the fucking debit card associated with the bank account. They were taking their lousy $8.40 out every three months. It's never been a problem. Never been a problem. But oh boy, this year, trying to update a debit card number. A, a fucking process that should have taken about two goddamn minutes. I went through all of this living hell three months ago trying to update a fucking credit card number. And uh, so I, I, I actually, you know, working with these idiots from Skype, we, we actually managed to store my new debit card number on my account. So they had the debit card number. All we could not figure out how to fucking do was switch it from my old card to the new one, even though my new card was in the system attached to my fucking account. We could not get it off the old card into the new card. And they told me three months ago, we're aware of the problem and we're working on it. I just said, fine, fucking fine. They've got the goddamn card in the system. They'll figure it out. And I went on about my goddamn life and I head off to Pagosa Springs to this picking party uh, out in the woods where I didn't have to think about goddamn Skype and computers and all of this shit for, for one beautiful weekend. And I get back today and, and guess what? They have canceled my subscription. Six and a half fucking years. Six and a half fucking years with these motherfuckers. And because they could not update a motherfucking debit card number, they canceled my subscription. So, here I am with no fucking telephone, all of these ads all over Craigslist. So, I proceed to get on there to, and I, and I use this term loosely, Skype support. There, there's a fucking contradiction in terms. Skype technical support. 
<laughs> yeah, right! You're not talking to them on a phone, you understand. It's one of these little chats. They're a fucking phone service! And they won't talk to you on a telephone. The, the only way to talk to these ignorant motherfuckers is to get on and start tapping all of this shit back and forth with some little nameless little face from India or something shit. I was on the computer for four fucking hours with tech support. Four fucking hours dealing with these motherfuckers. I got hung up on Seven times. Seven people I sat there with. Uh, so we finally get to the end of it. And we get to with the seventh person I'm with. We're all set to pull the goddamn trigger on this. And, and I asked the guy, I said, okay, motherfucker. I said, it's like this. I, I said, for the past six and a half years... I have been getting my account billed every three months, $8.40, and one time a year, $30. That has cost me $63 a year per year for the past six and a half years to have Skype. And, and I, I said, are those numbers going to change? And he said, the numbers are not going to change. I have it in writing from the motherfucker. I have it in writing. That, that these things are not going to change. So he gives me the final set of instructions on how to do it. So I go through there, and do you believe it, people? It said, your billing payment has been successfully updated. And I got my Skype back. Now, nowhere did it say what I paid for this shit. And of course, when I went back to talk to the seventh guy to just to confirm everything, he'd already told me numbers weren't going to change. Of course, he'd hung up on me. So there you go. It, it says the next time that I'm going to owe them any money is March of 2016. That I don't owe them money. I have no idea how much money these motherfuckers just dinged off my uh, off of my debit card. Isn't there some fucking law that before you approve a charge to your to your debit card or credit card that they have to tell you like on Amazon or anywhere else that that before you hit before you pull the trigger you see the goddamn number? <clears throat> they said thank you for your purchase. Thank you for your fucking purchase, and your billing has been updated. We'll talk to you again in March of next year. And, and the goddamn shit better be fucking uh, $63. As long as uh, I don't owe those motherfuckers uh, $63 again until March of next year, I guess I'm done with it. I've got my phone number back. And, and, and I want to give you an idea. Uh, of how uh, of of how pissed off I was dealing with this shit. So anyway, so here I am, this 55 year old man, sitting there. Since I don't have fucking internet in this trailer, I, I'm I'm at the goddamn library, doing this shit. In a, in a table outside the library, going back and forth with these motherfuckers for hours. And in the middle of this, this is every 55-year-old man's fantasy. In the middle of this, this attractive hippie chick walks up, probably about 30 years old, blonde. This cute little hippie chick comes up and starts talking to me. Next thing I know is she's, she pulls out her goddamn camera and is, and is snapping all of these pictures of me while I'm on the computer with Skype. And, uh, I mean, she asked my permission. I, I said, what the hell, whatever, girl, if you really want to get a picture of some, uh, of some old man uh, typing away on a computer. And she was there for like 15 minutes, and, and she's sitting there flirting with me and shit. Uh, you know, asking me my name and my age. And, uh, you know, when she would take a picture, like, you know, Oh, you're such a handsome man. And she goes, I just love 
I, I just love what you're wearing. I said, I'm wearing my fucking pajamas, girl. Uh, and, and she's sitting there. This is every goddamn... Uh, how many times have, have, have you had this fantasy if you're a 55-year-old bachelor that, that some cute little blonde hippie chick was going to walk up to you <clears throat> and out, of, out of the blue, uh, start snapping goddamn photos of you, tell, telling, uh, telling you what a good-looking man you are and, and how she loves what you're wearing. Where are you from? What's the, why, you know, what's up in Paonia? Where are you going? Uh, all of this stuff. That, 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 is, that, that is every goddamn uh, man's dream. And here it was unfolding in front of me, and I was dealing with this motherfucker, this tech support guy from Skype. I have no idea. Do you, do you think I got, the, got this chick's name, her number, anything? Uh, and she was there a long time. And uh, so I finally just went back and I said, darling, you know, I would love to keep up this conversation, but I'm trying to do something on my fucking computer here. And, and she goes, oh, sorry, you know, I didn't mean to. And she gets in, in her fucking car and drives off. And I'll never see her again. <laughs> you know... Smoke them if you got them, guys. This shit, I am so fucking sick and tired of this shit. I am so fucking fed up with it. The whole goddamn bit of it. You know, my only goddamn connection left to this fucking culture is Skype. You know... And I, and I know how this shit... Uh, a few years ago, it just to be, it used to just to be one more thing in your day, you know. You got dealing with this shit with Skype. You got some fucking insurance company over here. You, you got some fucking car mechanic over here. Some banker over here. I, I, I've, I've gotten rid of all this shit out of my life. And to sit here and deal with these motherfuckers at Skype... You know, having a, an attractive blonde hippie chick uh, flirting with me, uh, basically trying to pick me up at the goddamn library, and, and I let her disappear into the fucking night because I had uh, to rescue my Skype. Get your fucking priorities right, Hambone, you goddamn asshole. Fucking moron. And so then, of course, you know, the liquor store is on the way home from the, on the way from the goddamn library, and I needed a goddamn bottle of tequila. Well, guess, well, guess what the fuck? In the, in the fucking four hours I was at Skype, the goddamn liquor store closed up. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. You know, I'm sick and tired of it, people. I, I want the whole motherfucker to come down. Bye, guys. I'm tired of this shit!